Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Mehul and in this video, let's just go ahead and discuss what should be your first programming language. If you're somebody who has just gotten introduced to programming, computer science and all the fun stuff, how should you even start? I mean, that's the biggest question, right? Because you don't want to pick the wrong thing to master and then master it and then realize you picked the wrong thing. That will be the absolute horror. So let's just go ahead and dive deep into what are some of the things you should consider when picking a programming language, especially when it's your first one, because that could make or break a lot of things for you. All right, so to answer this question, we have to go a little bit deep into your context because this question is not as simple as just a Boolean thing. You should learn this or you should not learn this. This depends on what you are trying to do right now at this moment. There are a lot of ways you could be introduced to programming in general, whether it's it could be your university, for example, I guess that's the most common way. It could be your curiosity, it could be your friends, it could be anything. Anywhere you might have seen code for the first time and you might have wondered, hmm, I want to do something around that. Take a note of that moment. For me, that moment was when I was trying to create websites on blogger.com and I wanted to add a subscribers widget to my website. That evening, that day, that was the defining moment for me to actually learn HTML and CSS as one of my first programming languages. Some people hate the fact that HTML, some people call HTML programming languages, but that does not matter here. But let me know in the comments what you think about that. But the fact is, for me, the context at that point was I wanted to add a subscribe widget to my blog. The step number one is figure out what's your context. Why are you even trying to get into programming? What's your gateway? What's the gateway reason you are trying to get into programming? And your gateway reason would most likely be an industry level skill set somehow. For example, for me, subscribe to us widget actually required me to learn web development. For you, if you're interested in robots, for example, that is another industry where you program robots and how, what frameworks you use and all that stuff. If you're interested in automating and machine learning and stuff like this, that is ML and AI is another industry in itself. If hacking feels cool to you, for example, then cybersecurity is another industry in itself, although it has divisions into web security and reverse engineering and all that stuff but it's still an industry so figure out your industry figure out why you are actually trying to get into programming once you have your context once you have your reason why are you even trying to get into programming still i would not recommend just jumping onto a language still hold on try to figure out what goes into that industry for example, if you're trying to get into web development, if you're trying to create websites somehow, if you want to create pages. So in that case, I would recommend starting off not with C, not with C++, not with Java, not with Python, but actually start with HTML and CSS or and JavaScript, right? It makes sense because if you're learning about C++ and you learn about pointers and you learn about sockets and you learn about a little bit of operating system management as well, and you're trying to get into web development, then it makes no sense to learn C++. Sure, some people might argue that that could set up you for fundamentals, but that is it. That's all it will do. And you can, trust me, you can learn the fundamentals using a language like JavaScript as well. Although it's a little bit more forgiving and people love to hate about the fact that it allows mistakes and stuff. But I have been through that journey. A lot of people have been through that journey and I believe it's a completely fine path if you choose to follow the right resources and the right people. A language is bad because developers code it in a bad way. And of course, the language sometimes does allow a lot of loose syntax as well. But JavaScript has come a long way and I believe it's it is a good option to start as your first language if you're trying to get into a language if you're trying to get into a space which requires that the first one being web development then of course you might be somebody who is trying to create a mobile application for example then it makes much more sense for you to start with a language like java or kotlin or swift depending on which operating system or which mobile phone you want to create applications for but it does not make sense to start with let's say C++ again. <laughs> I'll just keep on targeting C++ because <laughs> the application for C++ actually is there, but it's for more optimized and 
you know, driver based code these days compared to just practical application. I mean, it does has that, but it will take you a long time to actually build something meaningful with a low level language, not a low level, a high level language, but something which is more sophisticated than the alternatives like Python or JavaScript. All right. So to summarize what we have, First of all, choose the context why you're trying to learn what you're trying to learn. Number one, whether it's mobile application, web development, ML, AI, data science, cybersecurity, that's what you have to figure out. Number two, figure out what works in these industries. What are the common languages? What is the common tool? What are some common things which you need to learn? And then get started with those things alone, right? It can help you if you have just taken a Python course or if you have taken a C++ course, but if you're somebody who's extremely new, it's almost always okay to start with a language in that space. That is completely fine. All right, so what about those people who are still, who have made it till this point in this video and they are still confused on what to choose? For you, what I would say is just start with Python or JavaScript. Just toss a coin, pick a Python or a JavaScript side and whatever lands, start with that because these two are extremely easy languages to start with. They have tons of content online. They have tons of support online. And uh, although it's possible that you might be might struggle a little bit in the way how to actually take advanced steps, what to do next when you're done. But for the starting part, at least you will be able to start. Even if you are a little bit more skeptical towards JavaScript side, that's fine because JavaScript has, of course, has a loose syntax. So Python is also a good start in terms of a general purpose language. Start with that. Start with something. I mean, don't just put out a lot of excuses. Um, I'm researching that. I'm researching this. That's fine. But a lot of things when you realize, even if you complete a language, you will realize a lot of things. These things are transferable to the next one. If you learn about Python, you're not just learning about Python but you're learning about variables, you're learning about functions, you're learning about assignments, you're learning about operators, mathematical operators, things like these. And a lot of these things can be just transferred to JavaScript. And similarly for C++, if you're learning for variables and assignments in C++, you can transfer these to other languages like C or Java or things like these. So the important part here is to actually, first of all, I would recommend trying to figure out the context why you are learning, taking a look at the tools there, what are the common tools, and then starting with those instead of just randomly learning. But if you're still unsure, just start with Python or JavaScript and make your way from there. Make your way from there as in once you cover that language, see how you can use that in your context, in your original context to build something. Because when you're building something, that is when your true test happens, what you have learned. Your true test is not passing a couple of quiz questions. It's not about passing an interview. It's about actually making use of your knowledge in real world because that's that's what matters at the end of the day. So I hope this video helped you in order to figure out what should be your first language. If you have still no idea, like I said, just start with JavaScript. If you do have idea, whether it's JavaScript, whether it's Python, whether it's Ruby, whether it's PHP, whether it's uh, C++, make sure you leave a like, comment and tell me what your first language will be or what your first language was. And if you have any advice for people in order to start high schoolers, people who are still in college in order to start with a language, do let us know in the comments what you think. That is all for this video. And I'm going to see you in the next one really soon.